Okay, YouTube, it's XX Truck at 93XX here, and um, when I was taking apart my ATV, getting the front plastics off so we can uh, take it apart, you know, I was just like, how does it die for no reason, you know? So, further investigation I found, scene number 22, and how it connects right there. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, this this is a line that just, it's like a breather line. It was just hanging down, and I saw it, the end of it was burnt shut. It touched exhaust. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, look. See? Here it is, and here's what happened to it. So, that explains why it was only running on choke, and it wouldn't even give it any throttle, because there's barely an... It's open a little bit. Just a little bit. That's why it'd only run on choke. And uh, when you hit the gas, you know, I thought it was the freaking compression. Well, the compression is low right now. I think it's like 90. So we might put rings in it or we might see if we can try to see what, see what it goes out to. I'm still going to test it again. But this piece was clogged. It melted shut. And then when I cut it with the pliers and started it right up. Started right up. So you know what? There goes to show. Before you start taking stuff apart, well, I'm glad I took away the plastic. That's better. But uh, before you try to take about thinking about taking the engine apart, look for stuff like this. Check your carburetor hoses. Um, they only they don't say what it does on here, but it goes right. You know, they say it's a pipe. Wow, what good is that going to tell you? Well, I mean, you can't even see through the damn thing, so. You can barely blow through it, so that's why it was running on choke. It was only running on choke. I think there's where it, where it can open up right here. But it's shit. So my engine's not bad. It might need rings though, because the rings just seem like they're low. Oh wait, there you go. But it might need rings, so. Either way, I'm only going to spend 50 bucks, so I don't really care. But it, that is the problem, so... Oh, we still need to tune it, though. So I'm just going to wait for my dad to help me out with that. I mean, I I set it back, but I want him to, like... He's really good at doing that stuff, so... But that's the problem. This was touching the exhaust, and it just laid on there and just melted shut. No wonder why I was riding, and it just started running like crap, and then cut off. And, uh... Simple problems that are easy to fix so well this is 90 psi on it now but when there's a way to test it by putting oil in the cylinder but i i just don't i think it's the rings are okay they will need to be replaced so maybe that's why it's still running a little bad but that's the problem so look for stuff like that make sure all your hoses and accessories are away from the uh, exhaust because a problem like that can cause you to think your motor's bad well, I just want to let you guys know that that is what my carburetor looks like. And, um, she's good now. She works great, so I'm not going to go outside because I think it's starting to snow and, um, I just came in, so I thought I would just show you on my computer, but, um, I'll let you guys go. Tell me what you think. How, how, if you have problems like that, look at your lines, okay? Thanks.